Hello everyone and welcome to Mechanism or Processing as Fast as Possible. So a little history on Mechanism or I guess a little background info. Uh, Mechanism is a tech mod that has different tiers of machines. These four are all the same machine just upgraded to be able to process more items at once. So the base model can do one at once, these three, five and seven. There are four different cables in higher ranking, I guess, four different cables, uh, pipes, tubes, conduits, you name it. They can each uh, transfer more per tick than the last one. And they also store energy or fluids or gas per tick. There's also three upgrades we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, arguably the most important one is the energy upgrade. It, uh, I, I believe it's important because mechanism machines can get very energy intensive as we uh, start to upgrade them, especially with speed upgrades. Speed upgrades obviously make the machines go faster. Gas upgrades are also an efficiency upgrade, so definitely recommend getting some of those in a couple of these machines. So let's start at the base here. Um, I'm using the Elite factories. Uh, so Elite smelting, if you look up smelting, you can see the uh, basic energized smelter here. It uh, has a simpler recipe and of course is used in the subsequent recipes up until we get to the Elite one. Using the lead here just for the demonstration. One time ore processing, smelting, works just like a regular Minecraft furnace. Two times ore processing, we add an en enriching factory here, which will turn our ores into dust. See, these are uh, a little quick here but uh, it'll turn one ore into two iron ore dust which will automatically go into this smelting factory that dust will get smelted up into an ingot each so two times ore processing in order to get three times ore processing we have to add in a couple more machines one of them is the crushing factory which this can be used to crush ingots back into their dust form and uh, and the purifying factory, which is the first one that we are going to need or want this gas upgrade on because it utilizes oxygen. A good quick way to get that early game is just with some flint. Flint will turn into oxygen when I put it in here. Right now I have some uh, creative tanks hooked up to the back just so that we don't run out. But one of these, and we can turn uh, our auto eject on and off here. So one or will get turned into three clumps. Three clumps will get crushed into three dirty iron dust. The enriching factory turns the dirty iron dust into clean iron dust. And then that gets smelted as it regularly would. So we can see that each of these tiers sort of build off of the last one. Now, four times ore processing, we have an injecting factory, which again, we're gonna use hydrogen chloride this time. So again, we want this gas upgrade. Hydrogen chloride, just by some salt, which you can likely also found, find in the world. And this will turn one iron ore into four iron shards. These four iron shards will flow into their purifying factory, and then it's the same. Those get turned into clumps, crushed to dirty dust, dirty dust to clean dust, clean dust to ingots. So that's, that's four times ore processing. Now to get up to five, we have a couple others, a couple more complicated machines, a chemical crystallizer, chemical washer and chemical dissolu dissolution chamber, which takes sulfuric acid, 
but uh, sulfuric acid isn't considered a gas here. It is considered a gas because you need a pressurized tu tube to transport it. And with these three complicate, more complicated machines, they don't have a sides UI. So you have to insert into the big square and extract from the small square. But it's pretty simple. Uh, one iron ore in here will get turned into some, it's already too quick for me. Maybe I should take the speed upgrades out of here. So one iron ore turned into dirty slurry dirt, or iron slurry, iron slurry, sl bleh, slurring my words here. Dirty slurry gets washed by the chemical washer, gets turned into clean iron slurry which gets crystallized here into iron crystals. Those get turned into iron shards. Oh, there we can see one come in. These iron crystals get turned into iron shards. So we get five, five uh, crystals out of each block of iron. And then from here on out, it's just the same as regular. We go through those and yeah, like that. So, it's all good, but obviously in survival, you guys won't have a creative means to get sulfuric acid or water or oxygen or hydrogen chloride. So that's where these machines over here come in. The first one we're gonna want, and we need this for our tier three, is we have an electrolytic separator with some water in it. It'll turn it into hydrogen and oxygen. Now I like to have it set up so it dumps excess hydrogen and keeps oxygen. Right now I have it uh, dumping both because I have creative means of energy and I can afford to lose uh, 4.96 kilo RF per tick. And that's with eight energy upgrades. So this is what I was saying about these can get very, very expensive, very fast in terms of energy. Water is supposed to go in this front, but with the electrolytic separators, it can go into any side. Oxygen always comes out on the right side here. Hydrogen always comes out on the left side. So this oxygen here in our pressurized tube is what we would bring over and pump into our purifying factory. Now here we're using this hydrogen, hydrogen in a chemical infuser, which is another machine, along with some chlorine, which again is an electrolytic separator with brine. We'll get to we'll get to brine in a minute. Uh, so the brine separated into sodium and chlorine. Dump the extra so extra sodium because there's no use for it. Chlorine hydrogen gets turned into hydrogen chloride. So this is where we would pump into our injecting factory, fill this with hydrogen chloride. So if you just want to do four times ore processing, you just need these three machines and a source to produce brine, which is over here. This is a thermal evaporation block where if you pump water into a valve and provide this with heat, or it will just heat up by itself. It doesn't produce much. The hotter it gets, the more it produces. So putting water into this will turn or produce brine here, and we can see it slowly ticking up. In order to accelerate this, you can add solar generators on the top four corners. Uh, oops, this, thing this thermal evaporation unit has to be three high and a four by four base these will provide extra heat but they also provide electricity or rf or power and we can use those in conjunction with some resistive heaters here use the power generated here make sure these resistive heaters have a green end facing into the evaporation valve 
and a green end for accepting power. It may look like it's getting power here, but it's not actually. So, put that guy there. And this will help our temperature climb and increase our brine production a lot. So, useful things. And as long as this center block has sky access, these will keep producing as long as there's sunlight. And they produce a decent amount. So, that's hydrogen chloride and oxygen. But, as you saw over here, we also need sulfuric acid into this first stage here, and that's to dissolve our ores. And for that, we have this little setup over here. Another injecting factory, or a chemical injector, here, to turn gunpowder. So if you have a creeper farm, this would be a great use for all the extra gunpowder you have. Gunpowder into sulfur with the hydrogen chloride. The sulfur gets put into an oxidizer and gets turned into sulfur dioxide. Here we have another chemical infuser which takes the sulfur dioxide from here along with oxygen that we're making in this electrolytic separator along with oxygen to make sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide into another chemical infuser along with some water vapor which we're producing in a rotary condensatrator which we can turn it into condensatrating or decondensatrating which we want. We want to turn the water into water vapor. Those two, the sulfur trioxide and the water vapor produce sulfuric acid. So you take this output here and run it over to this far end over here to the chemical dissolu dissolution chamber. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Water, uh, there are many different ways to produce water. Uh, mechanism has a pump, which is probably the best way. Put this over a water source. If you put power into the green end, take your fluids out of this red end here. That is how you use the electric pump. And of course, it is also upgradable. So you can throw in your energy and your speed upgrades. You can see those there. And yeah, that is pretty much everything you need to know in order to produce five ingots. Take those out. Five ingots for every block of ore. You can see we'll throw one gold ore in there. It will cycle through. Kind of neat with the flashing blue lights. And we will get five ingots. There you are. So, five times ore processing. Well, one through five times ore processing with mechanism. <laughs>